The Power of Kindness, a Buddhist Zen story for kids. In a small village, a group of children were playing near a dusty road. They soon found an innocent child and began to harass him, pushing him around and laughing at his expense. The poor child tried to defend himself, but he was outnumbered and overwhelmed. A Buddhist monk, who was walking by, saw this scene and approached the children calmly. With a gentle voice, he said, Children, what you are doing is not right. Harming others is a bad thing. Kindness is a noble virtue. Let me tell you a story from long ago. The children, curious and a little ashamed, gathered around the monk to listen. Once upon a time, there was a poor farmer who lived in a small village. He worked hard every day to make ends meet. One day, he needed to go on a long journey, so he prepared a parcel of food for the trip. After walking for several hours, he grew tired and decided to rest near a forest. He sat down and began to unpack his lunch. Just then, a poor beggar came by and asked the farmer for something to eat. The farmer looked at his only parcel of food, feeling the pangs of his own hunger. But seeing the beggar's desperate eyes, he felt deep compassion. Without hesitation, the farmer handed over his entire parcel of food to the beggar. The beggar thanked him and, to the farmer's amazement, transformed into a radiant god. The god said, your kindness has touched my heart. You have given me all you had without thinking of yourself. For this, I will reward you. With a wave of his hand, the god gave the farmer a bag filled with gold coins and then disappeared. The farmer's selfless act of kindness brought him great fortune. He had shared what little he had, and in return, he was blessed beyond his wildest dreams. Remember this story, children, the monk continued. Kindness is a powerful force. When you choose to be kind, you not only help others but also bring goodness into your own life. Hurting others never leads to true happiness, but being kind can bring unexpected and wonderful blessings. The children listened intently, absorbing the monk's words. They felt guilty for their actions and apologized to the innocent child, vowing to be kinder and more considerate from that day forward. Remember to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming videos. Join our community of like-minded individuals and embark on a transformative journey of personal growth. Subscribe now and let's embark on this incredible adventure together.